Hello and welcome to this How Tech video tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you how to perform a queue test to find outliers in Excel 2016. So to get started, we're going to need to have some measurements here. And these need to be in a specific order, that is in ascending order, starting from least to greatest. So just to move these in a different order, just to demonstrate, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. We can see that our gap formula throws an error and we need possible outlier there which is 0.125 that needs to be first because the Dixon's Q test can only work for one possible outlier. So to remedy this we go over to the data tab here and we need to click ascending order just to make sure that everything is in the correct order our gap formula does not throw an error anymore and everything's good. So don't panic when you see this, but this is the whole gap formula. And just to organize it, you can hit Alt Enter just to return in a formula. So we start out with an if and that's a bunch of formulas in there and functions. So you can just copy all this down and put it to your taste and needs. Just be very careful that you don't make a mistake or you're going to get the wrong outcome. So this is a lot easier, the range. Simply subtract maximum and the minimum there. And for the Q, even simpler, we have the gap divided by the range. Here's a confidence interval. And this is just a table you can look up anywhere online. We're looking for the 99%, at least in this example. So we'll take the 0.568 critical value. And then after all that, I did a really simple test here just to make sure if it was an outlier or not. So it looks to see if the Q value is less than the critical value. If it's not, then we hit no. If it is, then yes, this is an outlier. So as you can see, this Q is less than the critical value, which means no, it's not. But if it's like something like 0.6, then yes, it would be an outlier. This has been a How to Take Video tutorial. Please like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching.